Hey guys, it's Josh with No Dad, No Problem, featuring how-tos, interviews, and reviews you can use. Today we're going to be discussing shaving our face. I'll be demonstrating how it's done. There are a lot of ways to shave, and a lot of different razors. I've never been a big fan of electric razors, and I've always felt like I get the closest shave with a multi-blade disposable or with a cartridge-based system. <clears throat> now, it can be confusing, and everybody's face is different, but I do recommend at least two blades, but I don't think you need a five-blade, rotating head, fourth dimension, vibrating, dark side of the force razor. The most important thing is to have a blade that is sharp. Now, to show you that we don't need an overpriced razor, I'll be shaving with a store brand razor from my local grocery store that has three blades. My facial hair is pretty coarse, but I do believe this will do the trick. If not, I'll be a bloody mess. But before we do that, let's talk about the five steps to a good shave. These steps come to us from the American Academy of Dermatology. Step number one, before you shave, wet your skin and hair to soften it. I like to shave in the shower, but after a shower is a great time too, because your skin will be softer, your pores will be open, and you've scrubbed some of the dead skin and the oils off that could clog up your razor. Step number two, we're gonna apply a shaving cream or a gel. Personally, I prefer a shaving gel, but you can use whatever you like. Some are made for sensitive skin, some have menthol, some are for thicker beards. Find the right one for you. You'll want to leave the cream or gel on your face for two to three minutes to moisturize and soften the skin and the hair. Step number three, shave in the direction that the hair grows. This is an important step to help prevent razor burns and bumps. Step number four, rinse after each swipe of the razor. This will help to keep the blades clean and prevent clogging. Step number five, store your razor in a dry area. Between shaves, make sure your razor dries completely so it doesn't get bacteria growing on it. Do not leave your razor in the shower or in a wet sink as bacteria can grow and the blades can rust. Be sure to replace your cartridge or throw out your disposable blade every five to seven shaves, but the most important thing is that the blades are sharp. You may be able to get more time out of a blade if you have peach fuzz and that's about it. All right, the intro is over. Let's get to shaving. All right, guys, here we're in uh, my downstairs bathroom. This is the first time I've ever tried to uh, record off of a mirror. So I've got, a side, I've got another angle camera going just in case this doesn't work out quite right. Uh, to prove that I'm actually shaving with the store brand razor, I've got these here. You guys are going to be able to watch me open it. But like I said, this is pretty coarse. This has been growing in for a while. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to take just an electric shaver that I have, bust it all down so then I can get something that normal blades will be able to get through. So here we go. Ooh, that's not a good sound. <laughs> This thing is not cutting through this, so I'm gonna have to go get something heavier. All right, gang, since the uh, smaller electronic or electric clippers didn't really want to bust through the thicker parts of it, I had to pull out the big dogs, which I normally use for like shaving my head or whatever. So we're still gonna rip through this thing. Much, much better. of that taken care of. I still have a pretty thick layer of stubble. Um, so what we're going to do with that, we're going to go through our steps. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my skin. Um, so I'm going to get some warm water going. I'm just going to splash that warm water into my hands. So I kind of take it and I'm just going to rub it all over my face like it's nobody's business. All right, now that we've wet my face a little bit, we're gonna apply our shaving cream or our gel. So I'm just gonna take this. I like to run it under warm water a little bit, just to kind of warm it up. It comes out warmer in my hands. Uh, feels better on my face when we're all set and done. Doesn't take a whole lot, just rub it in your hands, rub your hands together, kind of get foamed up. 
circular motions all over your face. It's kind of like a little mini facial massage. Got a nice thick lather going here. Feels pretty smooth, feels pretty nice. I've got coverage over all the areas that I'm looking to shave. And now I'm gonna rinse my hands off because uh, they're kind of a mess. And I'm gonna let this soak for a minute while I unpack uh, my Apex 3 Top Care brand three blade razor. All right. <laughs> I feel like I've let this sit on here long enough, so uh, we're gonna go to our next step, which is to shave the hair in the direction that it grows, which is generally speaking on the front of your face, it's gonna be downward as well as the front of your neck as well. You're gonna wanna use short strokes with uh, even but light pressure. You don't wanna press too hard. You're just gonna snag your skin. You're gonna cut yourself, not fun. Gonna give it a nice little rinse and repeat. All right, most of my face is done, so I'm gonna move on down to my neckline. Or my throat, I guess. Same principle. Going with the uh, direction that the hair is growing. Giving a couple passes, making sure that everything's good. Cleaning out the blade between swipes, making sure it's not going to get clogged. It loses its cutting effectiveness. Now, if you notice, my shirt's getting a little bit of a mess. It's getting a little bit wet. That's why I like to do it normally out of the shower. But trust me, none of y'all want to see me without my shirt on. Now, my jawline grows in at different angles uh, for the hair. So I just, I'm just striking along the natural curvature of my jawline. We are almost about done. There are aftershave balms that you can use to smooth and condition your skin. Uh, not required, personal preference. Um, I don't, generally speaking, use one. And really, uh, so that's about it. I'm gonna sp splash some water on my face, uh, clean myself up. But uh, we went through the steps of shaving. The last one, we're gonna make sure that our razor blade is clean. We're gonna make sure that it is dried off. We're gonna give it a good shake. And again, don't store it in your bathtub or your shower or real too close to the sink anywhere where water could splash up on it. A great place to hide it is a pull out drawer uh, up on a shelf just to make sure that it's gonna remain dry so you're not gonna have bacterial growth and you're not gonna have uh, uh, the blades rusting out on you early. So I'm not going to do an exit sit down like I normally would. Just want to say the stuff that I always like to say. Number one, I appreciate all of you watching. Uh, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if this helped you at all or if there's anything that you would like to see uh, done uh, for videos. Uh, Subscribing to the channel helps our channel greatly, helps us grow, uh, get better placement in the YouTube search results so other people can find the information. Uh, hitting the bell will give you notifications of when we post new content. We post new content every Sunday. Other than that, I think that's about it for the shaving lesson. Be well, be blessed, be loved, be smooth-faced, and have the best day ever. <laughs>